everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today the recipe that I'm going to share with you is a yogurt marble cake this cake is so delicious guys it's very simple not too many ingredients it doesn't even have any kind of icing or frosting on top that's how good it is just to eat just the cake by itself because the chocolate really sets off that cake I will have the recipe and any items that I use linked in the description bar below if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I will get back with you if you are new here welcome I really would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video if you are a regular here thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me I appreciate you okay guys without further ado let's get started alrighty we are going to start this recipe with our dry ingredients. In this bowl, I have my flour. I am going to add my baking powder. I am going to add my baking soda and my kosher salt. Okay. I am going to give this a whisk just to incorporate everything and then we're gonna set this aside. Well, this is what I did do off camera guys. I did take my semi-sweet chocolate bar and I did melt it in the microwave in 30 second intervals. So I crushed it up, I put it in the bowl, I popped it in the microwave 30 seconds, I take it out, I stir it around 30 more seconds and it melts. Don't leave it any more than that because you don't want to burn your chocolate. And then you're going to let it cool off, okay? So that's why I did this first. Here, we're going to set this aside. Get all this out of the way. This is the pan that I'm going to use. You can use a regular 8 inch baking pan, round, square, whatever you want. I'm just using this one for ease, you know, just to pop it out of the pan easier. I did spray it and I did line it with the parchment paper, even though this is non-stick, just to make it easier for myself. Then I do have a board for the actual cake and we will set this aside. Here we're going to add in our other ingredients. These are our wet ingredients plus the sugar. In this bowl I have my sugar. I have the eggs, three eggs, room temperature. Make sure they are at room temperature. I do have my yogurt at room temperature as well. So we're going to pop that in there. And this is plain unflavored yogurt. I did use an organic brand, but you use whatever you like. And then I am using canola oil. You want to use any flavorless oil. You can use canola oil, vegetable oil, safflower oil, or corn oil. Whatever you like. Anything that's unflavored. Okay, and then I am going to add my vanilla. I add a lot of vanilla to this cake. I love the flavor of the vanilla on the vanilla part. So I do exaggerate it just a little bit. Now these items that I'm using, I will mention it to you here in a little while after we get this cake in the oven. I am going to mention to you these products that were sent to me. Okay, now we're just going to give everything a whisk until everything is combined. Okay, now we are going to add our dry ingredients to the wet. Be careful and don't splash yourself. And then just mix this up. No fancy equipment needed for this. Again, nice and easy. Okay, and after mixing this, we're going to take our whisk out. And we are going to div divide the mix into two. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just gauge it more or less. Just about like that. Now, to this one, the smaller one, I am going to add my chocolate that has been cooled and we are going to mix this in. Okay, everything is mixed in nicely. Right, now we are going to pour our batter, our vanilla batter, into the pan. Our oven should be preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, now our second one, the chocolate one, we are going to dollop it everywhere. I'm just going to take this little knife that I have. Don't go all the way to the bottom. Don't touch the parchment, parchment paper or the bottom of your pan. And just go in and start swirling it back and forth, just like that. But don't go all the way to the bottom. Now then turn to the other side and do the same thing. And you may want to do this one or two times. And 
and it just gives it a very nice design. And that's it. Don't move it around too much. Give it a couple of taps. We're gonna pop it into the oven. I will give you the baking time after it comes out of the oven. Everybody's is gonna be different because everybody's oven is different. It's approximately 40 to 50 minutes, but check at 35 minutes with the toothpick so at least you can gauge where you're at. So I will be back. In the meantime, I am gonna mention to you some products that I was sent and I'll be right back. Before continuing this video, I am going to do a review of a product that was sent to me by a company. I will have their name listed right here. It's been, it was sent to me a while back. This is a small family owned business. I let them send me the product. I will tell you, I did use this product for a while before I brought it to you. I wanted to make sure that it was a good product, that I wasn't just showing you anything that people want to send me for free because that's not what this channel is about. This is a 25 piece nylon cooking set, okay? They do count the teaspoons and the tablespoons as like this is five, so it's five and then five, so that's 10. And then the rest are counted as singles. I have used the spoons, I have used the tongs, which have become one of my favorite items out of this whole package. The spatula, very good quality, I may add. Very, very sturdy material. I cannot tell you how they wash in the dishwasher. I do not have a dishwasher, I wash by hand. So that would be something that you would have to read about. I do use the whisk all the time. That's why if they look a little bit, you know, used because I have been using them to try them just so I know that I am presenting a good product. Another thing that has become my favorite is this potato peeler, okay? It's gonna be kinda hard to show you why I like it, but it does have some very pronounced ridges here that peels the potatoes really, really well. Now, if you do wanna make julienne strips, it also has, has the back side of the peeler for that. So that comes in very, very handy. I have really enjoyed this peeler. Now, I do cook a lot with nonstick skillets and stuff, so I don't use the spatulas very much. I did use the ladle. It's held up really nice to the heat. I haven't had any problems with it as far as it nylon melting or anything. So I do believe this is a good product. If you wanna go check them out, I will have their link down below. I am not making any money off of this, guys, just so you know. I am trying to be very transparent with you guys. It's just an item that was sent to me that I really like, and I wanted to share it with y'all. This is a grater, a cheese grater, a garlic grater. Very good size for the kitchen. Uh, you know, it came in really handy. I've used it a bunch of times. Nothing has gone wrong with any of these items. So I will leave a picture and their information listed in the description box below. Go take a look. This would be a great item to give it a homewarming gift. That would be a really nice item for a wedding, somebody who's just getting started moving on their own. It has a little bit of everything that they need. I have been using this for probably over a month already and I have not had to reach for any of my items. So that was a big plus for me. So go check them out. I will leave the link down below. Okay, back to our regular scheduled video. Alrighty guys, the cake is out of the oven. Look at that. I am going to test it. Again, nothing's coming out. If you get little tiny crumbs, that's okay. You don't want to overcook it and you can tell it's not jiggly anymore. So I'm going to let it sit here and cool for about 10 minutes and then I will pop the spring on it. Let it cool before we cut it. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It did bake in the oven for 50 minutes. 5-0. 50 minutes. Okay, I'll be back. Everybody, the time has come to taste this delicious yogurt marble cake. You can see it that it is so moist, guys. Not even before tasting it. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Very nice. You can distinctly taste the vanilla and the chocolate. If you get a piece that has both, boy, you're in for a treat right there. 
The chocolate is nice and rich. You can really taste the, the chocolate part of it. It is so good and moist, guys. I didn't show you the whole thing after I cut it, but this is what it looks like. It is delicious. I hope y'all give this a try. I will have the recipe and everything I used linked in the description box below. Give it a try. If you do and like it, come back and let everybody know what you thought of the recipe. People really appreciate that. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, thumbs up helps this channel a whole bunch. And go and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned for some more videos. I will leave some haul videos linked for you all up here in the eye in the sky and some more down in the description box. Go and take a look there. Okay guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.